thought I'd do a little video on flat tappet camshafts. This one is a unmachined core. You can still see the casting lines in it, unground, the gears cut on it, the bearing journals are finished, the end or tap, the dial pin, fuel pump lobe. This is one that I received from the people that grind my camshafts. This is what it looked like before. This is what it looked like when I got it back. The journals are ground. They polish them. They do not parkerize their camshafts. In reality, there's no real need for it. Go over here. I built a little fixture here to check these camshafts for straight, which people don't realize that they get bent in shipping. It's just a couple of simple little V-blocks. Some clamps that I built, piece of bar stock, ground, flat, dial indicator with a 90 degree adapter. You can buy these from MSC, get it set up here, and we'll see how far off this new camshaft is that just came in. Alright, zero the indicator out. Looks like we're right at three thousandths bent. A lot of people straighten them with the chisel. I have done that and I have broken a few cast core camshafts. That's why I built this. Just use the arbor press here. Pick it up. A little pressure on it. Doesn't take as much as you think to straighten it. Getting there. A little bit more. I usually try to get them less than a half. That one is right at a half. half out there okay once we do that get it back off of here I have a performance trend uh, cam test stand that I check all the camshafts on relatively easy to set up magnet on this one end keeps the in play out of the camshaft has a sensor here that tells you where you are in the rotation start on the bottom side of the lobe let's lower the simulated lifter setup down on the journal I usually do all the lobes to one direction either to the front or to the back it really doesn't matter just so it's a consistent because of the 2000s taper our sensor here for the lift and that's pretty much setting it up just took my laptop up to it here power source here uh, i'm not going to show you any cam information uh, that's pretty much how the setup goes this is a camshaft core that i cut up the darker center part is a part that's not hardened the lighter color is the area that's been hardened i rock well test several of these cores like this i'll go in and polish an area like right in here somewhere with a sand and roll and check it for hardness you really need a smooth finish when you're checking parts for hardness if you can got a rockwell hardness tester here pretty simple device to use we just set the piece up here got a dial up here this handle raises and lowers the table this is our load here raise the table up small needle will line up with the dot when you have the proper load on it. You want it in the center of the dot if you can. Okay, and you can see our big needle is off the zero a little bit. If you look down here, there's another dial you can move. 
that will move that dial to zero, zero it out, come down to this lever here. When we push it, this lever moves and our dials will move and we'll see what the hardness is. And we're moving around there. You wait for everything to settle down, quit moving. When you push this lever, it relieves this lever here. And once the dial settles down, you come back, you pull this forward, and you can go up here and look at the C scale. And the center is roughly 25 on that piece right there. Let's take the pressure off of it there. We'll move to the outside of the hard part, the core, and repeat this process again. Run up, put the preload on it. Use our other little dial down here to adjust to our zero level where our dots lined up. We'll push this lever and Do like it did before, let it settle down, quit moving. Once it settles down, pull the lever on the side back. And on the outside edge, we are roughly 48. Quite a bit harder on the outside edge. You can see maybe the dots where I had checked it. I'll show you how to check the hardness on a lifter. I'll remove this plate, little fixture. For checking round parts. And I have a polished tool steel lifter. Set it in like so. Go through the same procedure we did with the cam core and we will check it and see what it is. Gauge is all released. We'll pull our little lever back and that tool steel lifter is 65 in the C scale. We'll take it out. Now we have just a standard lifter. Go through the same procedure with it. Get it set. Relieve the pressure. And once the dial quits moving and the lever quits moving, we'll pull it back. And just a standard run-of-the-mill flat tappet lifter is right at 50 in the Rockwell scale. Got one other little tool I'll show y'all that I built for checking lifter placement in the block. It's just an aluminum bar stock. Got a brass 1032 screw in it. The point sharpened on it. It fits down in the block. This is one I'm actually assembling on. Uh, it has a roller camshaft in it, so I really can't show you what it looks like on this cam, but it slides down in like so. You put your thumb on it with just a little bit of pressure, rotate it through with your thumb on it, which I can't do, I'm holding the camera. Moves up and down, marks the lobe. You can see it's got a little grease on it from that cam. I usually use a little dicum on the lobe and it will, you know, mark the dicum the brass tip doesn't hurt the uh, camshaft at all after a period of time you have to go back and just kind of resharpen the little brass point the cam cores from different manufacturers are different uh, the block lifter location is different uh, and you never know what you're going to get into as far as placement of the lifter so i do it to check the placement of my lifter in relation to the lobe small block chivvies half the lobes will be off centered to the front the other half will be off centered to the back you need a minimum of 30 thousandths offset one direction to the other uh, forwards are usually all offset either to the front or the back and that is to help promote the lifter rotation in the motor uh, are also take the lifters and I will I'll show you here what I do with the lifter when I'm putting the motor together get it camera flipped around here I'll take a paint pen and put 
little paint mark on it just like that doesn't have to be much and once i put all the lifters in the motor put all these pointing up or down get the rocker arms put on valve set before i put the intake on rotate the motor through and that mark should be moving if it does not move you will lose a lobe on the camshaft so i hope that helps some people with their flat taffet camshafts uh, i use uh, pacific break-in oil i don't like the dump additives into oils like a high zinc additive you're mixing chemicals that you really don't know anything about so i would suggest buying the pacific break-in oil the little lifter tool is a handy little tool uh, ninety percent of the camshafts are fine as far as the location but it's that ten percent that can get you in trouble uh, I've had to make little brass shims or machine the cam gear to move the camshaft backwards or forwards in the motor it's not a huge issue one thing that is a big issue just a reminder is make sure your camshaft has taper in it if it doesn't have taper in it it will go flat uh, comment Tell me what you like. Tell me what you didn't like. Maybe what y'all like to see in the future. I appreciate everybody watching. Thanks. Talk to y'all later. Bye.